Good morning, modern steaders. I don't see the turkey this morning. Let's shut the fence off and see. He must have went in the coop last night. At least I hope he went into the coop last night. Normally this time of morning, he's out and about. I'm not seeing no turkey. Oh, there he is. I see him. At least we know he's still alive. He's just sleeping in this morning. We decided on a name for this rooster. We're gonna call him Moose. We think that's pretty fitting considering we live in New Hampshire. So this area in here is getting grown up pretty well. We ran the pigs in there, not last year, the year before, and we're gonna run them again in there, starting hopefully today. That's the plan. Come on, Plodo. Good morning. Come on, girls. So we need to lock the pigs up so we can expand their pasture. Blow it out, come on. The easiest way to do this is install the gate all they eat. We might as well unplug the fence while we're thinking of it. Hope I got everything I need to expand the pasture. We got the old roll of wire, we got a new roll elsewhere, but I don't have the right style insulators. We'll have to go run and get some. Should be everything we need, minus one or two of these. Man, the pigs have done an awesome job out here. They've just cleaned it up, unreal. So now we want to extend it that way. Ooh, look at this. The fence has been down in this corner and they never even got out. 
Good thing we just came back here. The hard part for us is figuring out the best way to go up and over these stone walls. All right, need my T-post driver. And that's back here in the goat pen. Hi huh, girls. where I left it. I really like having this gate. It makes it so much easier getting in and out. Move this corner post at an angle, probably like I'm gonna go a little bit more. Guess I can even open that one up a little bit and get so the pigs can go around this tree and clear up that area. A rock, of course. Shouldn't expect anything different here. Man, rocks everywhere we go. We'll leave those ones there for now. I just go four paces between my posts. That's about 12 feet. Someday I'd like to build a new pork city, like what we have for the chickens, but for the pigs that we could put them in, something like that. Lock them up at night. And when we want to move a pasture area, I don't have to just keep extending it. I can just make a new area, bring them to, park the trailer, and put them in there. We aren't having luck with turkeys this year. This guy's acting a little funny today. And I'm wondering if he's not going inside New York City to get the chicken feed. So, we're gonna put him back in this pen and he'll have access to his feed and water all by himself. And we'll see what happens. All right, we do need to cut some brush out of our way. Go through here, across this wall, and then right here's the big culprit. There. It's funny, depending on how you look at something or what angle you're looking at it from, depends on how you see it. Like this isn't a beautiful orchard. But I'll tell you what, this is going to make some beautiful feed for our pigs. While I was editing the video, I had some shots that didn't make it into the video. So I wanted to show them to you. The insulators we picked up this morning are two pieces. They screw together. Then we can put them on our rods, tighten them up, and then adjust them that way. These work awesome. These rods are fiberglass, they pull in and out, easy peasy. When we were at the store, we also picked up some six inch long 
quarter 20 carriage bolts and I bolted them to our reel of wire and then when you're going around putting out your fence you can go like this and these cost like a buck for all all the pieces here and it works awesome so much easier now we'll get back to the regular part of the video I got the fence all hooked up the GoPro is inside charging up so we didn't get any footage let's hook the battery up and we gotta test it all what are you doing I know you want to come out but we gotta check and make sure you can first that's hitting let's check the charge here we got 8,000 kilovolts let's go back over here the furthest point away and check and see what we have 8,000 awesome let's just walk it a little bit without touching it boom I like it all right we can let the pigs out okay you girls ready to come out I don't know if I can get him to follow me to the new pasture or not. Come on. Hey. Let's get him some apples. Sausage and links. interesting to see how they do over here because there used to be a fence and to them it's a mental barrier more than anything come on see they know there used to be a fence there so they're cautiously approaching it come on come here there's no fence there right now but they know there used to be a fence All right, we'll leave that here for him for now and we'll come back and check on him later. You know you want it. It smells so good. Come on. Come on, Lynx. So I noticed the tines on the York rake were making lots of noise. So there, this is loose. So I'm hoping we can just tighten it up and fix it. That'll work. We're not gonna use it today, but while we're thinking of it, might as well take care of it. I actually have to take it back off Ooh, tomorrow, so that way we can move New York City. You ate the apples, but you haven't come any further really, huh? I'm curious to see if the pigs have gone out and adventured some into the new pasture area. I don't know. Nope. What are you girls doing? Huh? Come on! I guess tomorrow morning when I feed them, I'll have to feed them over here and we'll get them to come out. So we'll have to wait to do that in tomorrow's video. 
Thanks for coming along with us as we build our farm life, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow as we feed the pigs on the new pasture. Bye.